coming to this video. This video is an introductory video um, to my walk journey. Um, I am a recently walked 4C natural and I wanted to um, be able to record my journey before too many things change. Um, I am a month and a few days into my micro lock journey and it's a DIY micro lock journey so around if you're interested in that um so yeah um like i said my name is Cirilla. i live on the west coast of canada um on vancouver island and i was just so inspired by so many people going natural a few years ago and then for some reason i was just i was loose loose natural and i never thought i would ever have locks but i was always on these locks that I really wanted them to. I always said I wanted to get them when my hair got longer. I wanted to for sure challenge the idea that 4C hair can go, uh, can't go, uh, grow any longer than, you know, your chin. And so, so I wanted really to, to grow my hair long first. But then I was like, I just wanted to get locks, like now. <laughs> so I was inspired by a few ladies. spend too much money and so I used this guy it wasn't this specific one because the other one broke but um, it was a knitting needle that I just shaped down and I did it myself um, for two weeks over the years I started getting more minimal with my um, with my hair and I found a way to you know manage my fine hair um, learned a lot about my hair um, it is low porosity in most areas porosity in my crown area and so that was a challenge and I just really did not like detangling. Like detangling was something I, I always avoided to the point where I never wore my hair out because I just didn't want it to tangle. I, I didn't want to mess with it too much. I didn't want to snap it by accident. So I just ended up putting it in low manipulative styles um, for so long. or anything I, I, I don't really mind the non-uniform look of my locks because my hair wasn't uniform to begin with in, in terms of length and I just want to let it do what it does um, so for shampoo what I do is I just use black soap so I have like a crumbly African black soap and I put it in there like a few chunks with hot water and let it um, I shake it around and I let it dissolve and I use that um, to wash my hair so I do it about twice like two washes and that seems to get all of it out um, and then last week well easy I guess and I use my husband's shampoo and it was this one and it sh it stripped my hair so badly like my hair is really dry right now but maybe it's a good thing like, it's not dry like breaking off um, and it, but it feels different. Like the black soap had a little bit of a little, I don't know, it was a little bit of a, like a sheen to it. Like it was, 
you know, dry, like there wasn't a residue, but it just left my hair a little bit more moisturized with this one. Um, I think it's got like tea tree and like peppermint and gets all of the natural oils off. So I don't know, maybe I'll be using it maybe once a month just to get everything off and maybe help the locking process, but I don't know if I'll be using that regularly. Um, the other thing I use afterwards, depending on, you know, how I feel, I might use it before, spray it on before or after, but I infuse my apple cider vinegar with some herbs that are known to help hair. Um, let me know if you want to know more about how I do that. Um, but I basically just infuse some herbs into my apple cider vinegar for a few weeks and started using it. Um, spraying it on before and I find like it really helps to keep the itching down. It helps um, and to balance the pH of your scalp. So throughout the week when my hair is getting kind of dry, like little patches are getting dry, I also infuse my own oils. I use a high quality olive oil to infuse herbs into. Um, I've been doing it since I was natural. And I find this really nourishes my scalp. Um, I've been able to grow my hair back. Uh, if you could believe it, I never had hair in this region. And now I have hair there. So <laughs> I have my herbal oil. A lot of the herbs in there help um, moisturize, but also um, help really strengthen the follicles um, so I use that I just drop a few sections with that oil and that helps soothe things and also um, yeah just keep scalp, scalp issues at bay um, I think my scalp is still uh, you know trying to adjust to being uh, locked and yeah it's gonna be a process so here are my locks like I said, I interlock them. My hair shrinks about 70 to 80 percent, so that is all the frizz you are seeing. And my hair here, for some reason, is experiencing the most frizz out of all the sections. Like the the hair seems to wanna some of it doesn't want to grow in the lock so I have to be really aware of that for the most part the sides are great they I mean all of it's great but the sides are good in the sense that they all grow into the lock so I don't really have to worry about that um, here's this side of how I started them please put them below and I can make another video um, going into details um, as you can see my grid is not you know perfect but I kind of like it that way I think I don't like the complete neat look because or like the kind of grid look because um, my hair is fine to begin with and I just was scared that it would never thicken up <laughs> Um, and I would always be able to see my scalp because that was the first issue I had when I uh, I tried putting locks in like a year ago and I was like, I got this gut feeling like, oh my goodness, it's all gonna look like little, like, like a plug chicken and oh, it's not gonna look good, but I did not account for shrinkage, so I'm so happy for my shrinkage at this moment in time. So yeah, that's my lock. or what you're doing, let me know and let's just 
get a conversation going. Um, yeah, and have a great day. Bye.